I never dreamed that at age 63, a grown man would grieve so much over the loss of his parents. I lost mom October 15th of last year, and then dad decided he was ready to be with her on the 6th of February. That was less than four months. When it came time for mom and dad to need help, a wave came into our lives. She came in, she took care of mom, she loved on dad. I had a Sunday school class and a church that just moved in and helped me with things. After mom died, we needed 24-hour care. It seemed like the people were there just out of nowhere. And finally one day, Dad went with Wade to the cemetery and she said he looked at the cemetery and said, is Wanda there? And she said, yes. She said, you want to get out? And he said, no, I think I'm ready to go home now. It's about nine o'clock at night and Michelle called from overseas. And I said, you want to talk to your granddad? And she said, sure. And she says, hey, granddaddy, it's Michelle. I love you. Dad opened his eyes, looked at me for just a second, and then he took his last breath. And it was hard. The question entered my mind, where was God in all this? And I realized that God was in every step and every part of my life. He gave me a Sunday school teacher who took the time to corral a group of young boys and teach them the Bible, teach them about God. He was there when I had three children, two of which now today serve God overseas on the mission field. It's made me more aware of the fact that two things. Number one, life is short and there's no stopping death. And number two, Everything that you have, all these things, all this material stuff, I realized that it didn't matter because you can't, as they say, take it with you. But even more than that, it has no value or meaning to you at that time. And I said this at his funeral, I said, I have hope and my hope is not a verb, it's a noun. And that hope is Jesus Christ. It's all we have. He is all that's important. And so now I come back to church and I know where God is. And I know that someday my children will face the same thing that I faced. And I hope and I know that Jesus Christ will be there to welcome me home. I am David Caps, and this is my story.